the Brew News. Hello and welcome to the Brew News. Today we are here at the Arab Health and I am with Dr. Azad Mupen. No need to introduction. Founder Chairman of the Esker DM Healthcare. Uh, welcome to the Brew News, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Recently uh, we have seen that Esker has announced the My Esker app. We covered that news last week also. So only concern how the ASCA is planning to move towards the digitalization of the healthcare. Yeah. So uh, when we look at worldwide, uh, everything is moving uh, on to the online platform. Yeah. Not everything, most of the things. So uh, whether it's banking, whether it is uh, air travel, booking a ticket, or buying things, everything has moved already to right. a great extent. Right. Uh, very few people now go for that traditional shopping in many of these areas, right. banking especially. Healthcare, unfortunately, has been lagging behind. And uh, uh, what is happening even now is that if you have to have a consultation with a doctor, you have to uh, take an appointment, right. go to the clinic, wait for uh, half an hour, one hour, get the consultation, get some lab test go to the pharmacy after a prescription, come back. So that's a half day or sometimes a full day lost. So we have to see how we can bring digital to help people, to help their time as well as their efforts, reduce their efforts. So this is going on worldwide if you look at it. And that's what we are doing. So here in the comfort of their home, they can have a consultation. And uh, if it's a straightforward thing, the doctor can uh, ask for a prescription. And that prescription can be delivered to their homes by uh, a person uh, from the pharmacy. In between, if there's a requirement for a test, then the Aster Labs can arrange that. So this whole thing, mm -hmm. sitting at home in half an hour, you can finish it off is the greatest advantage. So that is what we are trying to do through the My Aster app. So there was a concept of the family doctor where the doctor was visiting to you at your place. Mm. The same thing as is doing digitally. Yeah, 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 Great. Yeah, yeah. New thing, new trend which we are seeing, that is a wellness mm. after the disease. And even after the COVID, people are more concerned about their wellness element of their health. Yeah. And as is coming out with so many new brands, yeah. international products, which is not the medicine, they're for the wellness care. So how you will see this gradual shift? Yeah. So that's an excellent question. So, uh, unfortunately, while we call what we are doing healthcare, hmm. we are Astra DM healthcare. Right. What actually we are doing is sick care. It is not healthcare. We look after sick patients. Exactly. The people who are sick come to us no. and we look after them. Okay. So is it healthcare or sick care? No. So when you look at it philosophically, it is actually sick care. So right. this term healthcare has to be something which we More have to broaden. Yeah, no. we have to broaden that. So that is something which, uh, see, 95% of the people don't have any illness. Mm. So that is your target group. So if you can keep them healthy mm. and avoid them becoming sick, mm. that's a much larger business also from the point of view of uh, your corporate. Mm. But more importantly, people need not get sick and come to the uh, hospital. So what we are now trying to do is that shift this whole, uh, uh, I mean, storyline, mm and uh, narrate you and see how we can uh, prevent illnesses and look at real health care rather than sick care. So that will take time, we know that, mm. and we also will be doing sick care. But gradually there has to be a focus on uh, uh, health care. So that's what we are doing, like wealth, which we launched right. recently, as well as if you look at the products that we are bringing into the pharmacies, most of these are not related to sickness. You won't see out of all those are displayed. Everything is something nutritional or uh, something, uh, uh, some minerals, uh, vitamins, all related to health, he healthy, healthy lifestyle. Uh, healthy, healthy lifestyle. Uh, so this whole idea is that gradually you have to go in that direction so that people will have an access to uh, health care rather than sick care. So, if we will start taking care of our health care, yeah. hopefully we will not go for the sick care. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's true. Recently, data has come that in 2022, DHA registered 61% hike in the registration of these medical practitioners, which is really a big number. So, being a chairman of ASCAR, 
how you are seeing what are the reasons get best talent pool in the medical sector is uh, like coming, coming to dubai yeah. so dubai has been traditionally a great attraction for anybody so we try to get people from different countries so we offer because we have operations in uh, many countries we ask people that you can go to other countries right. uh, but their preference is usually to come to uae especially to dubai hmm. so that is uh, because of the uh, social infrastructure here physical infrastructure here the safety the liberty and everything when compared to any other place in the world so people want to come here that's right. one second thing is uh, the new uh, rules which have come in people can come here they can stay here longer time and they can have their future plan otherwise every two year they have to renew their visa right. and things like that the third thing is that now unlike earlier times the technology healthcare technology or the uh, levels of treatment in uae has gone up significantly earlier what used to happen is that uh, maybe even 10 yeah, yeah people used to go people outside do, uh, it's a very yeah. common trend yeah as soon as they have uh, something serious they want to go back home and get it treated because they didn't have confidence in the system now because of two reasons one the insurance coverage so people are all covered by insurance so people can uh, now get the treatment done here because there is no anxiety on the payment right whereas earlier that was an anxiety because they uh, will get the same treatment if they go back to their home country at 1/5 of, of right. the cost now that is not there so with that because of the affordability doctors have come here and most of the treatments which we were doing earlier uh, outside the country now it can be done here so that's uh, for us for example we used to do very few number of uh, cardiac procedures here earlier maybe 10 years back now 99% of the cases are done here even in 2021 not only the inside treatment more than 600 medical tourists came to uae which was not a trend earlier actually yeah, yeah, yeah. and one thing which always like close to my heart like the csr activities of aster you are spending a lot and you know, giving back to society and the way asker is doing is not just a part of a corporate csr responsibility so from where this idea is started yeah. and how far it will go what is your vision for this yeah. so the aster volunteer program or the csr part of it is something which is actually the soul of aster uh, it is something which is coming from inside us it's not only me or relisha or anybody the people in aster uh, their uh, overall value system ask them to provide compassion and care to people who are in need so that has been inculcated into the people who have come we have 30000 people now in aster so that is the basic strength that we have so the soul of aster if you ask me it is uh, the uh, i mean uh, the uh, the uh, uh, desire to help people maybe it is people who are coming as patients but we thought that there's a requirement for us to go out there are lot of people who can afford what we are doing it's very unfortunate you may have a, a best equipment best doctors Definitely. but they can't afford that so while we can't uh, i mean just dis discount the requirement that we are a public company and we have to take care of the shareholders same time we thought that what can we do using our infrastructure as well as people who can support this how can we help people so that's a whole idea and we are doing a lot now added on to that i also want to tell that see uh, i personally uh, i have uh, uh, promised uh, and made a public statement that out of my wealth i have uh, three daughters and my wife so i have four people who are uh, heirs to my wealth so i've said that i'll have a fifth partner so 20% of my wealth has been earmarked for uh yeah. activities for giving back to society great so it's also coming very handy for such mm -hmm. activities mm -hmm. apart from people from outside helping us uh, and our doctors and our staff doing this activity we also have a support which is coming from inside by way of uh, this support which we are giving it's really incredible that first thing you are doing a csr activity other hand you are doing the health care so people should not sick 
a doctor is praying that you should not be sick <laughs> thank you sir thank you Welcome. thanks for talking thank to us thank you. Like and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon to get notification from the Brew News.